everyone. Welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Yes, indeed. Another day of vocabulary. Again, only three words. So that's not so bad, is it? Okay, glad you agreed. Make sure you have paper out and a pen or pencil for note-taking. After the lesson, we will have an assignment, a very short assignment. All set? Are we ready to start? Let's look. Let's look. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, we are ready. So happy to hear that. So let's start with what's behind me. Okay. We're going to be doing math. Exciting. Yes, I know. It's so exciting, isn't it? Math, 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 algebra, and the like. Three different terms. Our first one is inequalities. Okay. Our definition is a mathematical sentence. Again, when we talk about math in sentences, we're not talking about subject and verb. We have different numbers, different values, and the like. Okay. Mathematical sentence that compares the values of two expressions using an inequality sign. Okay. All right. Here are the inequality signs. This is what we're basically talking about. We are talking about the signs. This one here meaning it's less than Whatever's over here is less than what's over here. This one meaning whatever's over here is greater than what's on that side. Does that make sense? Okay, so the one that has like a mouth wide open, ah, uh, is greater. And the one that's totally closed is the less than. Okay, or you can think of that one as the one that's talking being less than, okay? So you're talking about the inequality sign. That is what this term is all about. And here's an example. Mathematical sentence and expressions and the like. Here you have an example. Y is what? Greater or less than? Is it talking or is it wide open? It's talking, okay. So Y is less than one half x plus two. So we've already solved the problem. Okay, and this is what we end up with. This is our expression. Okay, so that is what we're talking about here. So this is the final expression. Okay, again, here are the, your signs. Questions? Nope, okay, Mo moving on, moving on, moving on. Woo! Oh, look at this. Graph. No, it doesn't say graphing. It says graph. So we're talking about the actual graph itself. The set of all the ordered pairs. And the ordered pairs come in form like this. Okay, that's an ordered pair whose coordinates satisfy the, the equal... Whoop, hold on. I think we got... Oh, satisfied equation. I'm sorry. Let me correct that. Woo! I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Got so excited. Okay. The set of all the ordered pairs whose coordinates satisfy the equation. Okay. So this is what a pair would look like. And then when you have the graph, you would have the x-axis going this way, and then your y going this way. So we're talking horizontal, oh my gosh, and vertical. So we've got the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, and of course, number. There would be numbers here. And then you would figure out which one is your x, okay? And then which one is your y. And then when you do the actual graphing, you will look for the x and then try to find the y. And then put your little dot there. And hopefully at some point you could put like a line through, okay? Any questions for that one? <laughs> okay. It, equation, yeah. Okay. Proportion. 
Another fun one. Yes, yes, yes. An equation that states that two ratios are, ooh, not, we're not talking inequality, but are equal. So when we talk about equal, we're talking about this sign right there. So as an example, we've got two right angles. How do we know the right angles? How do we know? Anybody? Anybody? Yes, exactly. Remember, I always refer to it as the box, but yeah, at that angle, that tells you it's a right angle. Ignore the math. Uh, well, not the math. Ignore the artwork. <laughs> it's one of those days. Okay, so we have this one, which is a very small one, and then this is the bigger one, so it's like three times the size of that. Okay, so we're trying to set up like a little equation. So we've got that as one, we've got that because it's three times as big, so that's a three. We have a two here, so three times, we, we end up with a six, and we, we have a four there, but we need to figure out what this side here is, namely the x, we need to figure out the x, okay? So then we set up our, our equations. So we've got two over four, okay, right here, equals, okay? Again, the six is at the same level as the two. Let's look at it that way. So it's gonna be six over what? Over x, and then you would try to figure that out with going across. So you have two x equals what? Four times six is 24. So two x equals 24, and then you go on and on till you find your x. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Okay, good, 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 good. Any questions about any of these? So remember here, we're talking inequality. Here we're talking about equal. Here we're talking about the graph. And that you have pairs, okay? And don't forget your axis. X axis, Y, okay? If there are no questions, we'll get down to the assignment. So follow me over here. Please make sure you copy what I have up on the board. Again, don't put one in the answer. I have no idea what you're answering. Okay. All right. What are the two inequality signs? Number one and number two. What is the equal sign? Okay. Again, what are the two inequality signs? What is the equal sign? When you're done with the answers to this assignment, please send it immediately, namely immediately today, to my address, okay? And I wish you a fantastic day. Till next class time, bye-bye.